So unfortunately there's a fungus which is killing frogs worldwide and including our local species here and that's chytrid fungus. Hence why I'm wearing gloves and a gown and so we can protect these frogs from that fungus because these are the important frogs which we're using to breed to release back into the wild. So we're leading the way with setting up these facilities for breeding threatened species of frogs. Well, as a zoo-based conservation organisation, we're looking for ways that really emotionally connect people with wildlife. Everything we've been doing till now has sort of helped engage people, but it's certainly not helping enough and we need to take it to a whole new level. We've never done anything like this before. It's a great opportunity to get involved in something really unique and to really shape not only the future of the zoo and how it will look in the next 50 years, but also to really impact this really important small group of animals that are often overlooked and underappreciated. I think it'll be just a fantastic opportunity for visitors to see frogs and what we actually are doing here at Melbourne Zoo to save them.